What's going on guys, it's GBP baby, welcome back to another weekly review. I hope everybody's doing well, I hope everybody's healthy, and let's get straight into things. So, if you recall last week's weekly review, um, I did talk about the commitment of traders. I actually started the video looking at the commitment of traders. I'm not going to do that in this video since it's more of a long term outlook. But basically what we learned from the commitment of traders was that um, dollar is that the commercials are net long on dollar, meaning that we should anticipate higher prices on dollar, which is what's basically carrying my bias right now. So that's going to be a big, uh, that's going to be a big part in why I'm looking for uh, support for bullish price action. So I'm going to start the weekly. Of course, I still have my eyes set on this level here uh, to be drawn to for buy side liquidity. So I'm just going to mark this out like so, and do excuse my voice. You can hear that I'm starting to get. A little bit ill which is not the best but anyway we have buy side liquidity up here you'll see last week we traded up into this bearish order block we actually traded up to the 50 percent level of it which is cons which is mean threshold touched it perfectly and then just came off it what's nice to see is that we've closed above this swing high i'll just show you now so the fact that we've closed above this level says to me that there's likely going to be a continuation to the upside which is what i'd like to see what i do want to bring our attention to for a certain is this fair value gap which is now an inversion fair value gap so between this low and this high we have a inversion fair value gap and it's an inversion fair value gap because we delivered on the downside and now we've closed above it on the upside what does this mean well this means that when price returns back into this range we should see it act as a bullish pd array that will push price towards our buy side liquidity targets so we can use that when we drop down to the lower time frames to get some kind of a basis as to where we want to see price find support preferably i'd like the 50 percent level of this fair value gap to get respected so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write inversion fair value gap like so just so that we are aware and then i was also i also have my attention on the 50 percent level of this wick but that pretty much lines up with the 50 percent level of the fair value gap and i'll show you what i mean by that now so here's the 50 percent level of this wick and that's just below that uh, inversion fair value gap midpoint so it's pretty much the same level so i'm not going to clog up our clog up i don't want to make the screen too messy so let me just put weekly inversion oh, if i can type properly weekly inversion fair value gap like so so now let's go down to the daily and see what we can find you'll see we close on a low here and you can see our price has turned around at this bearish order block and now i'm talking about this bearish order block you see how we traded into it price touched it and then on the friday we started to expand lower away from it which is completely fine completely normal um at the end of the day it is a bearish uh, bearish order block so we anticipate a reaction but what i want to see in the new week is i want to see again as i was just explaining on the weekly i want to see this inversion fair value gap provide support so as price starts to come lower i'm anticipating uh thursday's low to get taken out what um uh, thursday's low to get taken out and then us to start moving into this inversion fair value gap Another thing to take note of is this imbalance. Now, the fact that we've closed above the imbalance as well, traded through it, this should again act as support because we've delivered on the upside. So I preferably do not want to see price come below this level. So until we get a reaction on this level, let me put an I there. Until I see a nice reaction at this level, um, I'm not going to be looking for any trades on any pairs because I want to make sure that this is going to give me the uh, bullish reaction on dollar that I'm anticipating before um, getting into any trades or anything like that. Again, we can look at this long wick, we can look at 50% 50, 50 level of that, and you'll see how that's that same level I was talking about on the weekly. So what am I expecting? Well, again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday mainly, I'd like to see the low of the week get made, so maybe Monday can be more quiet, Tuesday create the low, and then I'd like to think that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll see us climb higher, running into the buy side liquidity, resting above Wednesday, swing high right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write buy side liquidity there, like so. Because that's daily buy side liquidity. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm expecting. Let's go down to the four hour. This is the lowest time frame on dollar that I'm going to. And now here on the four hour, you can actually see a breaker. It's not a clear breaker, but there is a bullish breaker. This swing low to this swing high to this swing low. And then we break higher. That makes this level, this candle here, a breaker block. 
Now, this is quite confusing because we have all of this consolidation, very heavy consolidation. But the fact that we aggressively traded through to the upside makes this last swing a uh, breaker, which is another reason I'm okay and anticipate, okay with and anticipating price to return back to this level. So I'm looking at this low, high, lower low, and then you can see we break higher as this was the last significant swing low. So as long as price stays above this level, again, I'm bullish. So what I'm going to do as well on this time frame is I will draw this candle as it's the last up close candle. You can see that's positioned just below that weekly inversion fair value gap level. Let's make it blue. I'm going to take out the 50%. And then again, I'd like to think this will provide support as it is a four hour breaker. So again, Monday, Tuesday, I'll be watching to see how price makes its way to this level. And I'm anticipating some kind of, um, some kind of reaction for us to move higher. And like I said, aim for the buy side above Wednesday's high and um, these, these relative equal highs up here. So very simple stuff, but uh, yeah, let's go on to GBP now. We'll start on the weekly here as well. Now GBP is very consolidated recently, not ideal. You see, we've recently traded into a bearish order block here on GBP, and you can see how we're kind of just consolidating the range. One thing I'm definitely going to bring our attention to is how we are respecting the 50% level of this long wick here. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. So you can see our volume is continuously closing on the weekly level as well, closing below the 50% level. Yes, we've wicked up there, but um, this is classic price action as in where volume is remaining below the 25% level, which is even better. And then we're just slightly wicked into that 50% level. So we are respecting bearish PD arrays, which is supportive of our bias. Now we do kind of still have relative equal lows below here. It's not the cleanest, um, especially since last week we did uh, grab those stops below there. But overall, I do want to continue to see bearish pound if we're expecting higher dollar, of course. We also have these relative equal lows down here. This is definitely the long term target. So let's write this. Let's just note this down as sell side liquidity. Um, and I need to make that line slightly thicker like so. And then we can start to drop down to the daily to see where we can where we want to see price draw to. Now on the daily, we have another breaker. This breaker here, I did bring our attention to last week, but because of how consolidated we were, I didn't actually get the reaction I wanted to see. So we have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high, and then we break lower. And as soon as this candle close, we should be watching this level here specifically this low and you can see how we're kind of consolidated around this level but what i am going to bring our attention to is the volume of this candle because price is allowed to trade into the candle where to the mean threshold which is 50 percent so let's get that delineated and to be honest that is the highest i'd like to see price trade now that doesn't give us much room to create the high of the week but preferably moving into the new week i'd like to think that pound can respect this 50 percent level for us to then see lower prices for the rest of the week if say we trade through it I'll probably stay away from pound completely because it's been quite ugly with regards to price action anyway. But um, I'd like to think that we can respect this uh, midpoint, mean threshold and then push lower. So let me just write daily breaker because it's the last down close candle before the up. Oh, last down close candle before the uh, pretty much the down move because the last down close and up and then down. So let's put daily breaker negative because it's a bearish breaker and then when we drop down to the lower time frame we can start to see where in that range we would we'd like to see price trade at, into so let's go down to the four hour and before i exp go on further i do want to t bring our attention to as well is how is the fact that remember if we're net long on dollar with the commercials uh re re refer me ref i'm referring to the commitment of traders i was talking about last week go watch that video but um if we're net long on dollar and power is showing net short we should be seeing that any kind of selling going on is easily cutting through price and we can see here price is easily chopping through all these lows here price pretty easily move through these lows and you can see how every time price moves up it's struggling it's very high resistance as very high resistance way of getting higher here we see it here we see it here we see it but on the way down it's a lot more smoother delivery which is another reason i'd like to think that we're going to see uh some bearish price action on pound but anyway here's that daily break i brought our attention to we have thursday's high here which will likely get taken to create the high of the week we have bearish order blocks here these two candles so it'd be nice to see if price can trade into that and get a nice reaction let's say price trades through it like i said i'll just stay out the charts but if i see a nice aggressive reaction away from this level then i'll start to look for uh, 
shorts to enter to start running into these lows here, 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 because these are all relative equal lows, and eventually reach into this south side liquidity. But first, we are probably and likely going to trade into this bullish order block. Let me just make this black. And I am anticipating price to react there, like maybe create the low of the week or, you know, find some kind of resistance once we reach that level because price isn't just going to sweep right through it. Isn't likely to sweep right through it, I should say. So we got a four hour bullish water block there. That we can leave there. But again, as I said, because of how consolidated price is, it's not the cleanest. But again, we can see this level here and I'd like to think that price can tiptoe its way into this range before seeing a nice reaction lower for the week. So Monday, I do think it's quite low probability in terms of entering a trade, but I'd like to think that Tuesday will offer us some nice setups. We'll, of course, we'll have to wait and see. Another thing to take note of is the current trading range we're in. So from the highest high to the lowest low, which will be this, these highs up here down to this low. If I look at the trading range, We can look at ICT's uh, optimal trade entry and you'll see that lines up perfectly with the daily breaker midpoint, which is mean threshold and lines up with this consolidation here. Now, it's not unusual for price to return to a consolidation. So that's another reason I'd like, I wouldn't mind uh, seeing price trade up into this range here as that lines up with our uh, narrative. So, OK, there's all these confluences. But of course, we'll have to wait and see how price reacts to this level for us then to uh, start looking at these lows as targets. So that's going to be everything on pound. Let's finish on euro as, as per usual. We'll start on the weekly here as well. Now euro seems to be behaving a little bit better. In terms of relative equal lows, there's these lows on euro, but they're not very, they're not as clean as they are on pound, so to speak. But you can see how euro has been stepping its way down slowly. Uh, let's go down to the daily. And we should get a better look. So with Euro, I was anticipate I was this week and this last week, sorry, I was anticipating this fair value gap to get fit closed in. Like I wanted to see price close it. We didn't actually close it this week, last week, sorry. So in the new week, it'll be nice to see if price can do that. Um, there is also a bullish order block here on the daily, which price will want to trade down into if we are bearish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw our attention to that as a bullish order block on the daily. daily bullish order block and then of course we have a breaker here as well low high lower low so this level just above the bullish order block is also a level that we may want to bring our attention to when looking at uh targets for downside delivery before that though price is going to make a high of the week we can look at the current trading range and our target will definitely be this bearish order block we have here we do have a breaker high low high high so this level here is a breaker block but i w i am purely because of how you know how close to that we already are i'm going to bring our attention to this bearish daily order block i'll make this blue and i'd like to think that this could create the high of the week so let's make that like so daily and it's these 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 are the daily these are the levels which the commercials are you know what smart money is trading off the daily level so it's important to have these marked out on our charts obviously we have thursday's high as a target for us to trade through um, this from this high to this low, this is a entire fair value gap. It's a uh, it's a SIBI south side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. So it's inefficiency on buy side delivery, meaning that we want to see price deliver on the upside to close in that before targeting lower prices, which will again line which again lines up with our narrative with dollar. So here's the four hour. You can see again, kind of in a consolidation. Uh, we have a nice little breaker that we're trading through right now. Low, high, low. Wow. Yeah, technically it's a breaker if we're looking at volume, but this level I'd like to think that we can find support in it. I'm not going to get too into this, but basically I want to see price push higher and run into this nice fair value gap we have up here in line with our daily bearish order block where I'd then start looking for shorts preferably. So yeah, again, not really much on Euro. It's pretty much the same as Pound. Obviously I want to see higher prices. We have a nice swing high here at fair value gap and uh, Again, this is all assuming we are net short, which we are, which according to, <coughs> excuse me, according to commitment of traders, we are. So that's what we have to keep our eyes on. So that's going to be everything, guys, for this video. I hope you found it insightful. Um, obviously, I'll be back tomorrow to see how price action performs. Again, I'm not expecting too much price action tomorrow. Probably just some consolidation. Then Tuesday, I'd like to think we'll make the high of the week. 
and then we can start looking for trade entries and strategies. So don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned this week. Peace.